Hello aspiring and beginner writers, welcome to my writing channel. In this video, I'm going to share with you the eight essential elements you must get right in order to craft an awesome story idea. Be sure to stick to the end of this video because I will share a tip on how to mash up everything we'll have learned to craft a powerful story question, which will help you pitch your book or screenplay to editors, to publishers, and of course, to your target audience. By the way, I'm Abubakar Aminu, and this channel is about sharing the tips and tricks I've learned as a rookie author writing my first magic fantasy trilogy titled The Singularity Mantra. The three books in my trilogy are The Order of Anima Sentinels, The Return of Ishkuzababa, and the Codex of Eons. So let's get down to the eight essential points, starting with the fundamental, which is the core idea. Unlike what I and many beginner writers might have wrongly assumed, stories don't just pop from a single aha moment. It took the words of a renowned published author and a creative writing professor in the name of Brandon Sanderson for me to realize that stories don't just pop from a single aha moment. This is when Brandon Sanderson said that everything in a book is contrived. And that single statement allowed me to see that everything from the central idea down to the nitty gritties of a story are contrived by the author. So if you understand this very powerful statement, it will become easy for you to see how you can craft the central idea of your story from simple everyday ideas that you are passionate about. For me, it was the marriage of my two lifelong passions, which is ancient history, particularly ancient megalithic structures like the Stonehenge, like the pyramids of Giza, like the temple at Gobekli Tepe that archaeologists say is over 10,000 years old. I had a hunch, what if these structures were never built by any aliens or a lost technology as the experts in the field are suggesting? What if they were built by people that have just mastered an aspect of the mysterious and often misunderstood human consciousness which they could easily access and create things that we cannot do so because of our entrenched love with materialistic technology. So that was where the idea for my trilogy Came from. You also should ask yourself, what is it that you are deeply passionate about? No matter how simple, that is where you get the central idea for your story. It will give you something that will spark your creative writing journey. You don't have to waste your time waiting for the right idea to meet you. You have to contrive that central idea from things that you are already deeply interested in. Once you have cooked up your central idea, then you will need a person to bring it to life. That is why the next thing you will come up with is a focal character, or what the experts call the main character. But because character development is one of the most daunting aspects of creative writing, you need to start small and simple at this stage. All you need is a fictional name and a characteristic that will identify who that main character is in your story world. Of course, it has to be related to the draft central idea you have come up with in the first stage of the idea development process. And you shouldn't worry much after that because characters are like clay. They are moldable. You can change, reshape, and tweak the focal character whichever way you like in order to suit the nature of the story as it becomes clearer in your head. You don't have to stick with that initial fictional character that you came up with. Next, your main character needs to have a desire or a goal. 
and this will involve a big goal that will cut across the entire length of your story and the mini or sub goals that will drive the subplots of your story forward. But here is the kicker. Whether big or small, the goals you choose for your character must be specific and relate directly to the central conflict or issue of your story. Like the hero of my ongoing trilogy. The goal I came up for him throughout the entire three books is for him to understand who he is and learn to control his powers. And for the book one of the trilogy, which is the other of Anima Sentinels, the goal that I came up for him was simple. He desired to be recognized by his father and find real friends despite his abnormal powers, which used to keep people away from him. So what is that one specific goal or desire that you can come up for your main character that will run throughout the story? At the same time, what are the mini goals or mini desires that you can come up with in order to propel the various scenes and subplots of your story forward and tie directly into the central conflict or central issue of your story. Once you have done this, the next thing you need is to come up with a situation. All good stories start with a situation that is trying to impinge or to change the normal world as the main character knows it, which he or she will resist seriously. So you need to cook a situation that will throw a wrench into the normal daily life of your character, which will require him to take some immediate action that will now push him into the story that you have created for him. That's something usually come from another opposing idea, which is in conflict with the draft central idea that you have come up earlier with. For instance, in the case of my ongoing trilogy, I came up with the idea, what if there were a group of evil warlocks that are abducting people that have special psychic powers like my focal character? What if those evil warlocks are harnessing the powers of the psychics towards creating more conflict and causing more trouble in the story world? That was how I managed to get the central conflict where people with magic powers were in direct conflict with people with psychic abilities. So ask yourself, what is that one single central idea that is in direct opposition to your draft story idea? That is where you get your situation from. Next, you need to contrive an opponent or an adversary for your main character. This is because opponents are like a spice that keeps stories sizzling. Let's take the case of the Harry Potter series for instance. Do you think the story would have been better if someone like Hagrid were to be the villain? I don't think so. Only somebody that is so evil and so powerful like Voldemort will have generated the depth of empathy and concern and love that people felt for Potter throughout the story. That is the same thing that you need to do for your own story. You need to come up with a very powerful opponent or adversary that will be in conflict with your main character. Because without a good adversary or opponent, your story will definitely be boring. Once you have decided on an opponent for your main character, the next thing you need to do is to ensure that disaster strikes at that your main character. Well, I'm sure you are aware that adversity brings out the best in even ordinary individuals. When faced with adversity, most people rise to the level of becoming heroes. That is why you need to visit your main focal character with disaster. So, you need to ask yourself, what is that one major disaster that could happen to your main character which is directly related to his assigned desire or goal? Then you must give that disaster a major place in your story because it is that disaster that will convince your 
main character to go all out toward achieving the assigned desire or goal. For instance, in the case of the Harry Potter series, the one major disaster that happened to Harry Potter was the death of Professor Dumbledore. In the case of my ongoing trilogy, particularly the book one, the one disaster that happened to my hero was that he was betrayed by his most trusted confidant. So what can you come up with? The death of a loved one, a betrayal, or any other such disaster? It will propel the main character into taking action that will move your story forward. Next, you need to tie up everything we have said so far with a big question. Understand that stories are normally propelled and driven by questions. At every point, you have to ask one question or the other. And for the entire story, there must be a central question that is propelling the narrative act forward. So how do you come up with a big question for your story? It is simple. You just need to look at the assigned desire, the opponent, and the disaster you have created for your main character. Like in the case of the Harry Potter series, will Harry be able to continue and defeat Voldemort even after the death of his mentor? In the case of my ongoing trilogy, it is something like, Will the hero of my story be able to move on even after being betrayed by the person closest to him because of the fact that his desire is to find friendship and gain the acceptance of his father? That is how you get questions that will propel the entire narrative arc of your story. Ask yourself, what one big question could you come up for your story idea that is related to the main character his desire, and the opponent. Don't forget that I promise I will show you how to craft such a question that will help you to pitch your story to editors, to publishers, and even to your target audience. But we'll do that only after we consider the next point, which is a team. Teams are usually the glue that hold the different seemingly unrelated actions, activities, and events that are happening in your story world. It is what gives your story meaning and purpose to other people. That is because themes are usually taken out from real-life truths which is embedded into your story. For example, in the book one of my trilogy, the theme of the book came from that real-life truth that says, for one to find true love and acceptance from others, one must learn to first love and accept himself unconditionally. So you also should think of one real-life truth that you can embed inside your story to give it meaning and purpose, not just to the reader, but to you yourself, because writing is a very difficult task. And if you don't have any strong connection to the story central idea, to the story's theme, I assure you, you are not going to make any progress. After some time, you will just abandon the writing because you are going to be challenged at every turn of the writing process. And the way to do this is very simple. I adopted a strategy that was expounded by Professor Eric Edson when he provided a template, and the template is very simple. It just read, in order to dash, 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 your focal character must dash, dash, dash. For example, in the case of my ongoing trilogy, the theme is simple. In order to be accepted by his father and make real friends, Urhan must learn to first accept and love himself unconditionally. That was the theme of the Order of Animal Sentinels. And that is a real life truth that a lot of people could easily relate with. Because many of us seek to connect with real friends or seek the acceptance of our parents, whether a father or a mother. So that is the heart or the meaning or the purpose of your story. 
now to how you can arrange everything that we have said so far into that big story question that will not just propel your story forward, but also assist you to pitch your story to editors and, of course, to your target audience. You just simply arrange them as follows. Situation, character, objective, question, opponent, and disaster. Let me give you an example from my entire trilogy and then from the book one of my trilogy. The situation is in a world haunted by a malevolent warlock and his minions, a young psychic named Urhan Wilfrick, which is the character, wants to master the singularity mantra to fulfill his destiny as the savior of mankind, which is his objective. The question is, but will Urhan live to vanquish Ishkurzababa as prophesied when the immortal warlock and his ebon shed cabal were about to secure the Codex of Eons, an ancient artifact that held the key to the destruction of the cosmos? And for book one of the trilogy, which is titled The Order of Anima Sentinels, this is what I came up with. In a world teetering on the brink of darkness, a young psychic named Urhan Wolfric sought for happiness, which specifically to him means acceptance from his family and finding true friendship. But will Urhan survive at all when his trusted confidant, Rowan Zelik, had been working for the Ebon Shed Cabal to deceive Urhan into acquiring a soul stone from the Chamber of Echoes, an ancient artifact crucial for resurrecting their malevolent leader Ishkur Zababa and destroying Urhan's family. There you have it, a complete roadmap to kickstart your storytelling adventure. And if you have any question, you can drop them in the comment section. Also, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel because doing so will help me make better videos in the future. See you next Thursday for more creative writing videos and happy writing. Bye.